everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this bracelet. And this is a very, very simple and unique design. It is a hook and loom design. It's very, pretty similar to the Florisa, but it's different in its own way. And so these bracelets are actually the same except when you make the borders. So I'm going to explain how to make both of them. But this one is harder and this one is easier, the border process. So yeah. The materials that you're going to be needing for today are a loom, <clears throat> a hook, a C-clip, and of course a band. So I'm going to be using white. For the white in these two bracelets, Persian purple for one of the Persian black or pigments, And in this one is the neon purple or bocado and pearl neon orange. So let's just get started. So first, you're going to just grab your board color and you're going to go outwards and forwards. And you're just going to make like two um, <clears throat> single chain on both sides, um, on both pin bars. And this bracelet only requires two pin bars, so if you want to remove this third one, then it's totally up to you. It's totally your choice and yeah. So... Um, I don't think I have to explain this any further, so I'm just going to do it off camera. Now, once you reach the end, you're just going to close like that. So now, um, just a little saying. So I'm doing a different color scheme from this one. And I'm going to be doing the color scheme of this one, which has one color on each side. This one has like this the color on each like that but um to make this one you're gonna place like like this first color then the second color then you're gonna change your color and do like that again and so on but since i'm doing this one so i'm gonna like change color every zigzag and for this one so yeah so you're just gonna be making zigzags all the way up your loom I don't know why the lighting is so bad. Yeah. I wish I can make the lighting better. So no idea. It's like so ill. Lighting is so ill. Or is it because I use a yellow background? I don't know. But I kind of like yellow background. I don't know why. And if you don't like it, just comment down below. So. I'm going to be using white backgrounds. Your choice is only white or yellow because um, if woody background, I can do it once in a while, but not all the time because it's in my in the family room, so it's not always available. And we can do it once all my family members go out and only I'm the left. I'm all in my house. So yeah, so now I'm going to close it like that. Now I'm just going to be making a capping band in this very last peg. Now I'm going to turn the loom around and we're going to grab our hook, go in the capping band, grab the top band and hook it where it belongs, which mine, is, mine goes to the right. And go in, oh no, you're not going to go in again, sorry. Now you're just going to go in here and grab this band and hook it to where it belongs, like that. And now, <clears throat> once you have already hooked the zigzag bands, now you can hook the single chain border bands. So make sure you always hook the zigzag bands first before you hook forward the border. Now you're going to go in and grab the purple Persian and you're going to go there, hook it there. Oops. And so now I'm going to go in here again and grab the band and hook it forwards. And now what you're going to do is you're going to hook this bottom band over. And you're going to go in here again and grab the um, band, hook it there, and hook over the bottom the third from the top and third from the bottom. Now you're gonna hook this band forward, hook this band diagonally, hook 
over the second from the bottom hook forwards and so on so this is just the hooking process it's quite repetitive so um probably i'm just gonna like stop right here and if you are still confused on how to make it on how to hook it feel free to rewind the video and yeah i'll be back once i'm done with all of them so once you reached here um since there are no colored bands again you're just gonna hook over this band and hook it inwards now you're gonna insert your hook through everything and we're gonna grab my white band and just pull through that loop and we and just clip it or add an extension if you want to so yeah after that you're just gonna release it and i'm satisfied with this color couple so yeah here's the first step of the bracelet now we're gonna go to the next step so now you're gonna insert your hook through you can see the capping bean make sure the front side is facing you you're gonna insert your hook from the back side of, to this very very right band since i'm right-handed so we thought now i'm gonna grab my white band and i'm gonna pull it through and if you're making the normal single chain border, you're just going to um, reattach it directly. But since I'm making a different one, but if you're making a different one, you're going to um, reclaim those bands. And then you are going to kick, release. Oh my gosh. Sorry, but you're going to release the band on your hook. And <clears throat> you're going to replace band that you're holding so now you're gonna see three sides of the bracelet you're gonna go from the bottom and you're gonna grab the middle band so now I'm gonna pull another white band through it and again if you aren't making the special borders you're just gonna re attach and go further but since I'm making a different one I'm gonna reclaim that purple band like pretend to make a slip knot with it and reattach so it should look something like this sorry it's not focusing let me get it to focus mode yeah so yeah that is basically the process you're just gonna continue that until you finish this side and it's gonna look super cool and so I'm gonna reclaim make a slip knot and reattach and so yeah um if you haven't got that uh, feel free to rewind the video I'm gonna be doing it off camera and um, I am actually not gonna be doing this border I'm gonna be doing the normal one so yeah and once you're done, you're just going to repeat that to the other side, but I'm going to show you how to begin the other side. So yeah. So I did the single chain one and I'm done. So once you're done with this side and there are no more bands to do, you're just going to, um, you can't see the C-clip. And there's one in the forward and one in the back side. You're going to grab the left side from the forward, <clears throat> from the front one. You're going to release it off the C-clip. Now I'm gonna just pull those two bands into it. And so now I'm gonna reattach in it. So it should look something like this. Now how to do the other side is you're gonna just turn your bracelet around. And since the first band there's already like these kind of things, so you're just gonna directly grab that one. And you're just gonna repeat the whole thing. So I'm going to pull, <clears throat> if you're doing the special work, I'm going to reclaim, and so on. But since I'm doing the single chain one, it's going to do it normally. So yeah, I'll be back once I'm done. So I'm done again. And so now, you're just going to grab this side of the capping band. And it, sorry, grab it upside down. And I'm going to grab it. Oops. 
bullet triggers too and reattach it on the C clip again. So yeah, here's the back side. It's not that attractive, but the front side is really attractive. So this is the bracelet. I really hope you enjoy this video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. It's probably over here, down here somewhere. And make sure to take the best picture of it and post it on Instagram and make sure to hashtag Loomsnow and hashtag Mystical Loomy. And I, yeah, um, I changed my Instagram again. Once again, it is Loomsnow now. So, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.